Welcome folks, Mike from MS100 with you, bringing you some daily technical analysis. Today we'll be looking at the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. Recently we've been calling this market 100% accurate to the T. We actually managed to call the top at 9.30 today, and I'm going to show you how um, we did that. So let's check out the charts. The charts don't lie, guys. The charts don't lie. You just got to follow them. And here we are, the S&P 500. Now, ever since this day, right around here, we've been calling for 9.25 and then 9.30, and we had this rally up, and we had this two-day continuation rally. We stopped at the 20-period moving average here, and we did mention yesterday about that 9.30 level possibly being touched today, and sure enough, the S&P 500 did touch 9.30.01, and the, the SPY touched 9.9306. And look at how perfectly this chart opened up this morning. We opened up right here at the 20 period moving average. We kind of blasted through it and we touched this necktie resistance that we had here of that long term downtrend line that we drew in yesterday, which goes all the way back. Let me shrink this down for you. It actually goes all the way back to 2008. Check this out. Touch up here, touch again, and now we are consolidating underneath it currently. Now, we did, we did mention yesterday, let me expand this back out for you. We did mention yesterday how we did talk about this necktie support holding some um, big resistance. And sure enough, we came up into it and came crashing back down all the way during the day forming this candlestick right here. Now, we did rally off the lows at the end of the day. We did have a decent amount of shares traded in the last five minutes. We had um, about 10 million shares traded on the SPY. But we did close below this 20 period moving average, so we couldn't hold up it up in the rally. Now, notice how we're starting to turn over here slightly. We're just starting to turn over. And the same thing with the sarcastics. Starting to turn over with the sarcastics and a possible another dip down back with the, with the MACD. Now, what I see coming is a potential squeeze of the S&P the next two days because we're going to be with light volume. A potential squeeze between this 20 period moving average and this 50 period moving average on the chart. So at any point during the day, if we do come up and touch this 20, or we do come up and touch this 50, we touch the 20, I'm going short. If we touch a 50, I'm going to go long. Now that's just one thing I'm looking at in the market here, because we are possibly creating this other shoulder in this possible head shoulders pattern. We have the shoulder here, head here, and possible shoulder here, where we could continue to consolidate along this line and come back down, dip back down and touch this around this 882 level that we've been watching recently. So that's one thing to take a look at. I do have an interesting pattern forming on the NASDAQ that I want to show you guys. But other than that, I do think we squeeze the next two days and then come out and analyze the charts again. I'm actually going to take the next couple days off because the volume is going to be light in the market. But sure enough, Sunday night we'll have another movie for you. So let's check out the NASDAQ right now. All right, here we are on the NASDAQ. Now I posted this as the chart of the day yesterday. Um, looking for a possible, this is what I call a slanted head shoulders formation. It's sort of like a regular head shoulders, just that we have a slanted neckline up. We have a possible shoulder here, possible head here, and a possible becoming of a shoulder here. So we're going to look at for this, um, this trend line right here, this neckline to be actually broken through to create the slanted head shoulders formation. But what I'm looking at on the charts here, I'm looking at a possible divergence right now, as you can see right here on the MACD. Let me extend that for you. Possible divergence on the MACD. And we do have a, right here, you notice higher high, lower high, higher high here, lower high here on the MACD that I'm looking at. The other thing that I'm looking at here is notice how we are just holding right above this 20 period moving average, but we're kind of sort of rolling over. And notice how the RSI is starting to roll over here, and we possibly do have a turn coming into stochastics. So I will look for this. NASDAQ to close below this 20 period moving average. But then we got to watch out for this rising 50 coming up here right underneath this trend line. It might actually hold support or we might get a bounce off of it. But I do think the market is, the NASDAQ does have a possible turn point in it where it is going to turn lower here. So I'm just going to watch out for that on the charts. Um, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to get um, up the live screenshots on my screen so we can do some technical analysis shows at night and I can interact with you guys. Other than that, traders, um, look for light volume into the next two days as we do have Friday off. And good luck trading. I'll see you on Sunday night.